Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chad. This is the Wisco Boater Channel. As you can see out there, the snow is flying. It is October 31st and it's time to start working on projects inside the house. But I had to show this beautiful weather that we're experiencing right now. Five to eight inches of snow on Halloween. That's uh, living in Wisconsin or really anywhere in the north. Time to go inside and start working on the instrument cluster uh, and take the instruments out so I can start refinishing, uh, work on refinishing the, uh, the binnacle to make it look nice and pretty. So another video, winter projects, here we go. So I have a, an entire Saturday to work on some things for the, uh, the Regal uh, Clifford. And I'm gonna take advantage of this day to start taking apart the instrument binnacle um, I'm working on multiple projects at the same time. Today, I'm gonna watch some college football and sit here on the couch with my dogs. There's two of them there. There's another one right there. And there's, uh, there's one way over there. Right, yeah, there she is. Another one right there. Yeah, we have five dogs. So they're all hanging with me today. Um, I'm going to work on the instrument binnacle cluster right here on uh, the ottoman. I think that by taking the instruments out that this plastic piece here will come out of the binnacle because it's not, you can see it's not a piece. It's not like molded in to the rest of it. So there's a plastic mold here under the vinyl. And I th I'm thinking that the instruments are actually what hold this in because there's no other fasteners. So you can see it looks like crap. So, I'm going to, one by one, start taking each one of these wires off of each instrument, labeling it with a Sharpie and a piece of masking tape, and pulling each one of those instruments out individually. And I think when I do that, that, the, that uh, plastic piece will be released off the front. This is going to be a very tedious process. As you can see, every single one of these wires is held on by a little tiny nut. So I've got my nut driver set here, um, power screwdriver to uh, start taking each one of these off. It's gonna be a tedious process, but not in any huge rush. And you know, whatever time it takes to make this look, look better uh, is, uh, is gonna be worthwhile. I just, I wanna make sure that this boat looks really nice presentable uh when the time comes to sell it uh till we move up to uh, the motor, uh, motor yacht so <clears throat> um, i've got some additional thoughts on motor yachts at this time as well um i don't really feel like i'm going to go into it in detail in this video however um i'm still looking at the bayliner 38 series 38 70 and 38 88 i'm looking at carvers in the uh 37 to 40 foot range uh, the aft cabin models looking at some silvertons um, also looking at some classic chris crafts uh, the constellation series uh, these boats seem to be very very good boats uh, for the money very good values and lots of space um, you know we're talking 46 to 50 foot boats in this case so i'll talk about that more later but for now Time to start taking this instrument panel apart. All right, well, my nut drivers are not deep enough to get onto these nuts, but the good thing is they are uh, star wash lock washers, star washer lock washers. Well, I'm not going to record this whole thing. It's just going to be a bunch of video of taking wires off the back of instruments. So I'll be back in a few and show you the result. All right, fast forward about three hours. And we now have all the gauges out. Wiring harness is separated. 
And guess what is not free? <laughs> yeah. So this is glued in. But either way, the gauges had to come out because I didn't want to spend a ton of time masking off all those gauges. Um, although thinking about it, maybe masking would have taken less time than taking the gauges out, perhaps. I don't know. Either way, uh, I'll just mask around the outside of this and clean it up. Shoot it with some primer and uh, put some color on this thing. I think I'm just going to cover it up and shoot it with uh, maybe red or black paint. We'll see. I'll make that decision after a little while. But it's good to have all the gauges out. And uh, nice to see this project moving along because I am so tired of looking at this nasty instrument gauge binnacle. It's been a long day of uh, masking, taping, but I've got the uh, binnacle all masked off all the way around. No paint's going to get on the vinyl. So the next thing I'm going to do is scrape off this gross layer. See it? It just kind of flakes away. Um, oxidation, I guess, is probably what this is. So I need to scrape away the oxidation and I need to um, sand down the glossy areas here that were not affected by the sun over the years. And then shoot some primer on it. So I'm using um, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch to recoat the dash. This is a flat primer, flat white primer. First coat, I'm gonna do two coats of this and then uh, two coats of red. And then hopefully this will all be ready to uh, put back together while I watch NFL football on Sunday tomorrow. It's Saturday evening. I've got the second coat of red put on the panel. Uh, for this, I'm using Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover, bonds to plastic, which is what this is. So I think I'm just going to do two coats. This came out pretty good. And I'll uh, demask this tomorrow and work on getting the uh, instruments put back in. I'm not going to put a clear coat on this because it does sit in the sun all summer long and clear coats tend to discolor and flake off anyway. So just primer and gloss red. All right, sitting here working on getting the uh, gauges cleaned up. These three are done nice and clean. Um, you can see just from sitting in the boat for several years, probably getting wiped down, but never taken out to get, to get fully clean. So these are glass gauges. Um, so I'm using Windex on them. And uh, these should look really, really nice. The uh, panel is just about ready to accept these back in. Should have a uh, complete looking panel, except the wiring here before too long. Here is the instrument panel I'll put back together. It is not wired. The wires uh, are not hooked up yet, so the backside's still bare, but this turned out really, really nice. I think this is gonna look super good going back in the boat. And then the two switch panels that go on either side of the steering wheel will be anodized red, and uh, it's gonna look really nice. So really, really happy with this. Here we have the rest of the instrument panel, or not the rest of the instrument panel, the uh, the instrument panel completely wired back up and ready to go back in the boat. This actually didn't take too long. It took much longer to take it apart than it did to put it all back together. Just a simple matter of matching up the numbers to the tape and then uh, screwing the terminals back on. So this looks fantastic. So from my living room, thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel, everybody. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me some comments if you want. And we'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater Channel. Happy boating.